Steve, was that as good as you could have uh, hoped for, given that the, the changes you were forced to make today? Yeah, I think it's um, pretty pleasing. I think the, the squad effort was huge. I think it was last week up in Lyon, and obviously bringing a few uh, BAD start in, Beamon coming back in, McCusker, it's, it's, it's really pleasing to, to get the five points. Team effort, you'll say, but everyone will be talking about Keelan Giles again, eight tries in four games. That's quite some record. Yeah, it's it's an outstanding record, and I think it's something that is really pleasing to have someone like that on your team. But I think you said at the start, it's a team thing. Um, I think like one of his tries come off a, another quality D set. Joe Beam has gone through a ball shot out. It's a great, obviously he's fly up to throw, showed outstanding pace to finish it off. But I think that's where we, we've got to be careful in how you, you manage Keelan and around that, and making sure that it, it's it's about the group. It's unbelievable to have a finisher like him in the team, and it's not just the try scoring is. Defensive abilities, his work rate um, in in the back three stuff, is really really pleasing. But I think it's off the back of real top team performances too. He's been training with Wales. Presumably, you wouldn't be surprised if there were if there were to be an injury uh, with the national squad if he, he was next in line. Uh, yeah, I think there's there's a few other boys in around it as well who've been around the international scene a hell of a long time, and I know the Welsh manager will manage Keelan properly as well. So it's, they they'll see where he's at, and it's great that he's getting. Regional rugby, but again, it's not about playing Keelan probably every single week. It's managing. He's still a young boy. Um, he's he's playing really well, but it's something we, we make sure we don't get too carried away with Keelan, and, and we got to make sure his interests are at the centre of everything we do. Without uh, Dan Bigger and uh, Sam Davis, but uh, Josh Matavesi switching to fly half position. He has played at international level, but not much for you, and, and getting man of the match. Yeah, no, it's, it's great, and I think there's always a confidence with Josh to play there. I think he's managed the week really well, and also having Becky and Ben John outside him always helps. Abbas is playing some terrific rugby, Dan Evans is, and so it's something, and I think the pack laid on a platform for large pastures of the play, so he, he could make, make the right decisions. So, again, it's, it's a pr really pleased with Josh. Um, it shows a little bit more strength and depth we've got, but ultimately it's, it's a real positive team performance today. And being at the top of the table at this stage in the season where you've had to phase in some Welsh internationals and be without others against the, the Dragons, it's, uh, it's a pretty decent start to the season, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a really good start for us. I think um, probably, again, it's something that probably is only one half of rugby where we feel bitterly disappointed with. Um, so it's something that is pleasing. I think majority of the squad have had rugby, which is great as well. And I think everyone who's wearing the shirt is stepping up and, and playing this competition. There's definitely a, a good buzz around us at the minute, but but we know it's going to get a little bit tougher going to Munster. Next weekend is going to be huge. Um, we know it's going to be a physical encounter. They've had another great win um, away in Ulster. Then we've got a nice little break in around the LV. Um, some of the younger boys are getting rugby rest up. Some of the guys have played a lot of reps. Then we go to Glasgow. So if we can come out those games with some points, then I think it would be a very good start for us. Presumably it's still going to be a difficult time to go to Munster, not only with the uh, result that they got in Ulster, but with the, the emotion surrounding the, the passing of Anthony Foley as well. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a huge emotion. Obviously he's an amazing bloke, amazing rugby player for Munster and the, the way Munster performs in, I think they're paying him a massive tribute um, and it'll be, it'll be great for us to go to Ireland to play, but um, it, it, obviously it'll be a real sad time. But um, it's something that we will be going there and really focused on trying to get a result. Without Dan and Sam Davis now, are you going to try and manage with Josh and with uh, the youngsters such as Luke Price during the international period? So is there any thought about uh, signing a, a stopgap replacement? No, no, we, we, we're happy with what we got with Josh um, and, and Luke Price. He's a young kid coming through, so yeah, we, we're pretty comfortable with that. and. It's something that the group in there are pretty confident where they're going to go and where they're going to play, and it's something that we've we've got a squad we feel is being truly stretched to to the point of of breaking. But it's something they they find in a way, and a lot of what they've done today was finding a way in in a real positive manner as well. Steve, how do you uh, keep Keelan's feet on the ground? Um, I think it's you boys have got to keep his feet in the ground and not <laughs> keeping on about him all the time. It's like oh, the rewarding. Yeah, keep like, I'm looking at the detail of what he's doing. It's not just about the tries. I think it's making sure we're emphasising all the other good work he's doing in around tackling, his defensive reads, in around his TC work, his ball presentation work. Because I think there's a whole package that's coming with Keelan, and it's something I think it's not. Look, it's great that you see in the tries, and it's, don't get me wrong, it's great for us as well. But 
it's the the work that goes in behind that and around chasing kicks and tracking back to save tries those that's the package and within our group there's enough senior guys and if if he does start to wander then it'll definitely be pulled back to, to earth pretty quickly but I think he's a pretty level-headed kid anyway why, why did he have to leave the field just towards the end I just had a little bit of a cut that's all a cut yeah Where? on his eye with uh, Joel Beeman, you must have been pleased with his effort. Oh yeah, I think yeah, Beeman thought it was Christmas in playing today. He was so excited about going into the game. It's, it's a pleasure to have people like that within your squad. You see, this is uh, Joel makes out this is his cup final and how he's going to play and the way he leads in around it and how physically he keeps himself in condition is is outstanding and in ball carrying today, it's it's, it's leading the team and he knows what it is to represent an Osprey shirt. He's done it for numerous years and done it really well. And he, every time he wears it, there's a real proud moment for him. And I think the way he represents that is any young kid, you look at like Keelan looking at Joe Beerman, what it means to him to play for that shirt today is is pretty special. Yeah, I think he went really well. And I think it's it was tough. And I think that's, again, shows the level of maturity around Keelan. The boys had trained Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with Wales. We trained Thursday. They just watched training. They only done the team run with us, and it's a lot for Baldwin to pick up line outs and and calls and get his time in. Keelan done the same. Didn't didn't miss a beat with things, and and obviously Lids doing the same thing. So I think it's massive part in the back to those Welsh boys picking up the detail because they did come in late. Like we say, team run day, and I think to put the the performance they did off the back of that is is a real positive in itself.